Now let's see how to make a buttonhole. When you sew a buttonhole, it's often a good idea to use a interfacing or a stabilizer to help prevent the dense stitches of the buttonhole from puckering on the fabric. Lay your button on the fabric and use a removable fabric marking pen or pencil to mark the bottom of your buttonhole and then take a ruler to mark the center area of your buttonhole. Now we're ready to go to the machine to attach the buttonhole foot. In the back of your removable storage compartment, you'll find your buttonhole foot. Remove the foot that's already on the machine. Open the back of the foot. Set your button in the slide at the back and close it to secure the button in place. Bring your buttonhole foot underneath the presser foot holder. Lower the presser foot holder until the foot snaps into place. I can see that I have three different buttonhole styles to choose from. I'm going to select stitch number 10, which is the bar tack buttonhole. On the front of my machine, I'm going to press 1, 0, and we're ready to sew the buttonhole. After placing your upper thread through the hole in the top of the presser foot, bring your fabric under the foot so the line you drew is lined up inside the hole and it's visible through the hole in the front of the presser foot. Lower your presser foot lifter and then bring down your buttonhole lever, making sure it's behind this white part of your buttonhole foot. When the buttonhole is finished sewing, the machine will stop automatically. Raise your presser foot lifter and remove your work from the machine. Trim your thread tails and then place a pin at the end of your buttonhole and use your seam ripper, which is located in your removable storage compartment to cut open the buttonhole. Place it in the end of the buttonhole and push across the buttonhole carefully, making sure you don't cut through the bar tack stitches. The pin will help stop your seam ripper from cutting that open. Take the pin out and you have a beautiful buttonhole.